Whether it was a collectible, an old pair of shoes, even that treadmill you just use these days to hang clothes on. If you sold something online over the last couple of years, chances are you did not pay taxes on the income. Well, that's all about to change as a new law kicks into effect the first of the year, forcing online sellers to tell the IRS what they made in income selling online. Jeff Flock is live at eDropoff in Chicago with a look at how these new requirements could affect the small businesses across the country. How steep is this tax, Jeff? Well, uh, you know, the tax is just the typical tax that you would pay on income that you get. And a lot of people, as you point out, Lori, do not pay. I mean, you know, they you know, ship your stuff out and take a look at all these boxes here. Uh, but a lot of people don't pay the tax. Well, starting on the 1st of January, and let's put the numbers up there. It's part of the Housing Economic Recovery Act of 2008. Starts January 1st. And under the act, all of the uh, payments that you get in excess of a certain amount will be reported to the IRS. So the folks at PayPal, uh, the folks at eBay will make that uh, report to the IRS. Uh, they will, you'll have to give them your Social Security and tax number. You, uh, you'll get a 1099 form. It's a lot of hassle. It actually works to the benefit of some small businesses like eDropoff in Chicago because the founder of eDropoff points out you already pay the taxes. Yeah, we already report that income, so it's another advantage of selling through us and not having to take care of that at the end I'm of the year. I'm fascinated by the business. I look here and I see all these people hard at work. What are they doing here? Uh, all of these lovely ladies are inputting items for sales. So we've got people measuring items, putting the descriptions, editing photos, uploading the auctions. There's a lot going on at this And table. this is not small potatoes here. You sell a lot of uh, high-end stuff. This is a Cartier vintage a necklace and earrings. It looks like, if I'm reading that correctly, you got, you start, what did you start that bid at? You started it at what was that? $99. $99, and you f sold it at 1000 Yes, and we do that with all of our items. We've stayed true with the eBay auction format, and all of our items go on open auction. I love this place because it's filled with items everywhere we go, and maybe Dave comes around here and he can see. They send them to you, and you pay the shipping, correct? Yeah, if you're located outside of Chicago, you just box up your items. We pay the freight to have them picked up by UPS, bring them to us, and we do all the work and sell it for you. And then not only that, but they will actually take a picture for you, and I'm, I'm fascinated by this whole operation. It looks like... Uh, we're looking at shoes here, and you just do this all day. You, we've been here all day. You've been just working the whole time. Yeah, we churn a lot through here. We sell about a thousand items a week, and we do all the detailed images so you can see that at home. I got to ask your reaction. Uh, the, the idea that people are going to now going to pay the freight and pay their fair share of taxes. You like that idea? Absolutely. It puts us all on the same page. So this is something we've been doing, running our business right, and now everyone, no one will fly under the radar anymore. I was going to say that, and there are a lot of people these days uh, flying under the radar, selling on eBay, making money, and not paying taxes on it. But by gosh. Uncle Sam says that's all about the change. And Lori, they think it's going to bring in about a billion dollars in tax revenues a year. Jeff Locke and more for the IRS to monitor, of course. <clears throat> all right, Jeff, thanks again. Of course.